Until recently, the total number of people to have seen BAFA football is probably in the hundreds of thousands. This is about to skyrocket into the millions. It's all thanks to Dragons Football Club, who will soon be beamed into millions of homes in China as one of the feature stories of a documentary series to be shown on Central China TV. Director of this episode and um, is revolving around Jamie uh, and uh, the Southern Dragons. Um, the, te the television show is called The Story of Australia and it's produced by Bear Cage Productions and it's for channel uh, CCTV9 in China. It's called The Story of Australia. Dragons president Jamie Pai was approached by production company Bear Cage who were filming the series for CCTV9. Bear Cage reached out to AFL Victoria to find the best example of an Australian rules club with a Chinese influence. Good exposure for the club. Great to uh, get back to the roots of the players and especially the president, so that's good. Look, I, I think it's a fantastic opportunity to showcase the league as well. Um, oh, absolutely. You know, and um, especially our footy club. The Story of Australia is a six-part documentary series that will celebrate the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Australia and the People's Republic of China. Well, because it is for uh, uh, Chinese television, there, uh, there's always uh, the Chinese are you know are always going to want to see that that bond between China and Australia. And uh, anywhere we can show that in, that, in the course of our uh, uh, documentary making, the uh, better. And uh, with this story with Jamie is uh, is perfect for that. Bit. Jamie is optimistic about where the dragons will be in the future, and who wouldn't be when you consider the size of China. Like, I reckon just from today we get about 1.6 billion viewers, uh, you know, we, we got a pretty good feeder pool. China's first AFL scholarship player will come to Melbourne to play some matches for the Dragons in July this year. As a director of football and, uh, you know, I was meant to tell you before but in July we're going to be transferring the Chinese national to our team uh, to, to take part. Uh. How, how long will you spend filming? Uh, we'll shoot today uh, Ace, about eight hours. These shots were taken a couple of hours before the boys even had to run out onto the ground. And again, three, two, one, action! Yay! Come on! And well before any football was being played, we got to be involved in a few crowd shots being pre-filmed. Sorry, sorry, just going to do one more. Yeah, we're just making you famous again, aren't we? No, no, we're just, just filming here the setup shots to show that TV's not that glamorous. Uh, a lot of setup shots before they actually get to the filming part of it. All fun though, enjoy it in China TV. CCTV9 is it's going to be in China. Whilst this story is for Chinese audiences, the Dragons have 32 different cultures in their squad and they don't see themselves as just being solely focused on the Chinese population. We start to make a name within that multicultural community rather than just the Asian community. Exactly, so fully inclusive, so... Um... Yeah, I think that's what it's all about and you know, the guys are saying, oh, we're your Asian football club and that's not what we're about, you know, we're, we're a multicultural football club. We're, we're a football club, you know, overall. So... First and foremost, yeah, exactly yeah right. absolutely. So just how many people can we expect to be watching this BAFA Division 4 Reserves match and it'll be screened on CCTV9 in October this year. Well, CCTV9 has a uh, daily viewership of 60 million. Uh, so if you think about that, that's uh, yeah, three times the population of Australia every night tuning into this to see this. So maybe, just maybe, if a small percentage of that audience think, why don't I give this exotic game a chance, who knows where it could go. For Jamie Pye and the Dragons Football Club, the possibilities are endless. And this sort of thing will help us within the community. Oh, and, uh, absolutely. You know, hopefully Dragons will, will, will become a force in the AFA and one year play A grade and have our uh, own sort of, um, you know, area.